Hey everyone, welcome back to O2 Coding, and welcome back to our Discord.py series. In this video, it's going to be a very short one, but a very important one for the future of uh, Discord.py, the library. Um, so as you may know, we started this uh, series, well I started it, I recorded it, and started it in Discord.py 1.41. Um, it is now updated to 1.5, um, as you can see I have updated, we get the right CMD up, um, pip freeze. Uh, this just tells you um, what uh, libraries you have installed. So you can see here, I have discord.py equals uh, the version 1.5.1, which means we're now updated to the newest version, which is 1.5.1. Um, obviously, another little version came out. But the main once you're over 1.5, this change is valid to you. Um, this is going to be a very quick one, but it's, as I say, it's very important. Um, so basically, Discord made a change or Discord.py, should I say, made a change that you now have to um, enable something called intents to actually receive certain information um, for your bot. So say you want to, which it doesn't really affect us what we are at the series now, um, but does definitely definitely does in the future, if you know what I mean. Um, so say one thing, if, we re if we're reading when a member gets a new role or when their status changes, anything like that, won't work unless we have this enabled. So, um, yes. Uh, so let me show you how to do it. Um, this will be very quick. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So you want to head back over to discordcom slash developers Um, so back to where we created the bot back in episode one. Um, we want to go to our Ultra Coding bot, which is in here. So just go into it and head over to the bot section. Um, and now, so this was always here, but we didn't use it. Um, this is called Privilege Gateway Intents. Um, what this means is um, these are like I don't think the best way to describe these. So you, when you turn these on, you're basically letting your bot get more information than um, you're getting more information than the standard bot would just to make you know stop spam and stuff. I'm bad at uh, describing it. So if you want a better uh, Description, just give it a search on Google. I'm sure something will come up. Anyway, how we do it. So just go to here in the bot section and easily just turn on both of these, uh, just like that. So this one is for if the bot tracks presence data, you may need the present presence indent to receive presence event data. Um, so this is if you want to update when, say, a member is listening to Spotify or read what game they're playing, all that kind of stuff. We need this enabled. Um, and then this one, server members. So if we ever need to get uh, server member information, like their roles, anything else, uh, see even a whole server list, we'll need this intent enabled. So what I like to do is just enable both of those. Um, we might as well, there's no harm in not doing it. So we don't have to do it in the future and we we'll, won't we'll forget and then get a big error and say why. Um, so this is all we have to do in the developer portal. So now we all we have to do is head back over to Visual Studio Code um, and do one little thing here. So up at the top here where we imported everything, uh, we just do from Discord, not Discord.exe, just from Discord, import intents, intents with a capital T or a capital I. Sorry, what I'm saying. Um, we don't have to do it in our dev or mod uh, cogs for this episode. Um, but yeah, so we want to go here to our client with commands up bot. Just add a, another comma in and basically do um, intents equals Discord. Let me make sure I got this right. I have a text file beside me. Um, ah, sorry. In a sec. So I, I make a plan. No capital T there, so it's intent equals intent with a capital T. Or capital I, why am I saying T? Dang it. <laughs> Intents dot all. Like that on uh, brackets like that. There is still other ways to do it and just it, it, like importing the ones you need, but this is the best way to do it because you're getting everything. Or all the intents possible um, for your bot to take in. 
Um, so yeah, and that is it. So if we just start up the bot, if I get up the terminal, or CMD, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm in the folder, so all I have to do is pi. That's 3.8. Uh, what am I doing? No. I guess something else. You might have to do that, but for me, all I have to do is pi, pi, bot dot pi. Now, I can't speak. There we go. Um, and you'll see, bot is connected, Discord bot is ready. Um, so yeah, everything should be working again. Um, not that everything, anything was broken. Um, but yeah, so everything should be good now. And we don't have to worry about uh, enabling intents in the future. So yeah, that was a very quick episode. I know, um, in the next episode we will definitely be going on to mod stuff, uh, banning members, unbanning members, kicking members, it will definitely be the next episode, I know I was saying that for the past two, um, but this update came out a bit of a surprise to people, uh, or just change should I say, um, so yeah, that's gonna be it guys, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you enjoyed it, uh, drop a comment below if you have any recommendations, and join the Discord server down below, um, if you have any issues, or if you just wanna join. Um, completely up to you. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.